Saturn may be the most beautiful planet in our solar system. Strands of frosty material with a hint of rock are placed in a delicate halo, those baubles. Closer inspection reveals subtle pinks, greys and browns that shimmer in the darkness. The absence of them is difficult to fathom on Saturn. However, Saturn's rings are not a constant feature, they are in reality disappearing. The planet's most distinctive feature is fading, and that isn't the end of its problems. What is the cause of Saturn's tragedy? What does this mean for the ringed planet and our solar system? Is there any way out of this situation? Let's find out. New NASA analysis reveals that Saturn's rings are eroding at the maximum rate predicted by decades of Voyager 1 and 2 observations. Every year, more and more material is being lost from the rings. The sun's radiation and incoming micrometeorites perturb the ring's dusty particles, causing them to become charged. The atoms convert into spheres that spiral around Saturn's magnetic field lines in a split second. Gravity drags the particles into Saturn's clouds when they are too close to the planet's apex, where they evaporate. It's called ring rain. And over time, it and other events will erode the distinguishing element that distinguishes Saturn from the rest of the solar system until there is nothing left. It's a good idea to keep in mind that this will take time. According to scientists, the rings are expected to vanish in around 300 million years. The people of Earth still have plenty of time to admire and study Saturn's rings. Because while astronomers are aware that the rings are fading, they don't know everything there is to know about these bands, including how they came to be there in the first place. Saturn's rings have fascinated observers for years, but it wasn't until NASA's Voyager probe flew by in the early 1980s that we got a close look at them. A few years ago, scientists believed that Saturn's rings were likely generated around 4.6 billion years ago, when the solar system was in its infancy and tumultuous state. With rocky debris floating around everywhere back then, a new planet might have easily snagged a few, hung them around its centre and let gravity flatten them. In contrast, the flyby of Voyager showed a different scenario. When researchers analysed their data, they discovered that the rings were not as old as previously thought, which meant that they were not billions of years old. The rings have to be substantially younger, between 10 and 100 million years old. Saturn's rings are made up of fragments of water ice ranging in size from tiny dust grains to boulders several yards or metres large. A delicate balancing act is taking place between Saturn's gravity and the ring particle's orbital velocity, both of which are trying to drag them back into the planet. Ultraviolet light from the Sun or plasma clouds from micrometeoroid assault of the rings can change tiny particles. At Saturn's rings, the planet's magnetic field bends inward toward the planet, causing particles to experience the magnetic attraction. Once charged, the balance of the forces on these tiny particles changes significantly, and Saturn's gravity draws them along the magnetic field lines into the upper atmosphere. Once there, the frozen ring particles evaporate and the water can react chemically with Saturn's ionosphere. The lifespan of electrically charged particles known as H3 plus ions, which are composed of three protons and two electrons, increases as a result of these processes. As a result, scientists at the Keck Observatory on Mauna Kea, Hawaii, used infrared detectors to investigate how the H3 plus ions glow when exposed to sunlight. Saturn's northern and southern hemispheres were illuminated by blazing bands where magnetic field lines that intersect the ring plane entered the planet's interior. They studied the light emitted by Saturn's ionosphere to calculate how much rain had fallen from the ring and how it had affected the atmosphere. More than three decades previously, scientists had estimated that the amount of rain fell in a certain region of the southern United States, which received the most of it. Saturn's ring system had previously appeared to be as old as the solar system. However, evidence now appears that the rings did not exist when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Where would Saturn have received the basic material if the solar system had calmed down by then? Paul Estrada, a NASA research scientist, 
who has examined Saturn's rings, remarks that the probability of an event forming the rings now, in astronomer language meaning within 100 million years or so, is very unlikely. Further evidence for this hypothesis comes from more recent observations. NASA's Cassini probe studied Saturn's rings in 2017, before being annihilated by the planet's atmosphere. According to the mission's final measurements, the rings were not big enough to be old, as had been suspected by the Voyager missions. The formation of Saturn's rings is still a subject of debate among scientists. However, if the rings are genuinely young in cosmic terms, scientists believe they developed when one of Saturn's older moons came too near and was smashed to pieces. A small moon, like our own, may have been exploited to create thousands of Saturn-like ring systems. The narrative of Saturn's rings serves as a reminder that our solar system's worlds, however still and static they appear from here, are active places with their own dramatic histories. When compared to the world we live in, where everything is a mess and constantly changing, we imagine the universe as a crystal that never changes. At first glance, Saturn's rings appear to be a ledge you could swing your legs over as if they were solid. They, on the other hand, are not. There is a lot of movement going on in those particles and they are knocking into one another. Tiny moons have left their wakes behind and scientists were able to gauge the rate at which ring material was being sucked into the planet. However, with Cassini, astronomers will be able to examine the process more thoroughly and make the most accurate predictions yet about how long Saturn's rings will remain. After Saturn's rings have gone, the universe may perhaps reward the planet with a fresh set of rings. A mechanism similar to the last one may exist, whereby a moon is broken apart, a comet comes in too close and the cycle restarts from the beginning. Perhaps this won't be the last time we glimpse Saturn's rings. But the gaseous giant's ring isn't the only thing it's losing. At the same time that Saturn's distinctive rings are disappearing, its largest moon is also in danger of disappearing. Distancing ourselves from others may be the new normal on Earth. With Saturn's largest moon, Titan, racing away from its parent planet at a rate of 100 times faster than previously anticipated in outer space, it has taken on a whole new significance. Saturn's gravity may not be powerful enough to maintain Titan, but it is strong enough to obliterate Titan's rings in another 100 million years. How ironic is that? There is a slight gravitational attraction exerted by moons on the planets they orbit. This gravitational interaction causes tidal waves in the waters on Earth. Our planet's gravitational field changes as a result of the friction caused by this tugging. The moon moves away from us at about one and a half inches, that's 3.8 centimeters per year. In a similar way, Titan pulls on Saturn, but Saturn's friction is assumed to be weaker than on Earth due to the gaseous composition of the planet, as opposed to Earth's rocky one. Recent calculations imply the moon is moving away from Saturn at a rate of only 0.04 inches, that's 0.1 centimeters per year. Saturn's largest moon was created very near to the planet, but over four and a half billion years, it has migrated out to where it now orbits, about 746,000 miles, that's 1.2 million kilometers, from the planet. The majority of previous research suggested that moons like Titan and Jupiter's moon Callisto developed at a similar orbital distance to where we observe them presently. This suggests that the Saturnian moon system and its rings developed and evolved more dynamically than previously thought. Neither the Earth nor its moon is faultless. In fact, our moon, like every other child-parent relationship, moves away from its parent planet at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year. Tides, even the occasional werewolf urban legend, are caused by the moon's gravity on Earth. As a result of the friction, the Earth's own gravitational field is distorted, dragging the moon back into its orbit. You'd think that would keep the moon in check. The entire process, though, is what gives the moon additional energy to travel farther away. Saturn's gravitational force, on the other hand, is considerably weaker than that of Earth. Since it's formed of gas, not rock, it seems logical. Titan is unique in the solar system since it is the only moon with an atmosphere. It's covered in liquid hydrocarbon rivers and seas, such as methane and ethane. 
Scientists believe there may be a liquid water ocean behind the thick covering of ice capable of supporting life. However, if Saturn's moon continues to move away from the planet, it would limit our ability to examine it thoroughly. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.